All right, we're going to start this video with a fully formed two and a half year old deer just to show you uh, what a adult deer jaw looks like. Um, on the deer jaw, there are three premolars, one, two, three, and then there are three molars, one, two, three. All right, so there's a total of six. I may have, uh, there, there's a total of six. Uh, teeth in the jaw. Now there are some little incisors out at the front, but we're going to focus on the teeth at the back um, because those are the ones we want to look at. They also happen to be the hardest to get to if you're at a deer check station and have to look at the jaw, but that's beside the point. So here's we go. Uh, three premolars and three molars. Now, this board of deer jaws was created by a former professor here at the university that had a research project at DeSoto National Wildlife Refuge. And these are known aged deer in that they were radio tagged as a fawn and then followed throughout their life. So they actually know exactly how old these deer are. So it's great to use for an exercise like this. So at six months old or a half year, this is our fawn. This is our this is our baby deer, and we have, uh, as you can see, compared to the other jaws, even the one below it at one and a half, we have less teeth in this fawn. So we have the three premolars, but then we only have one molar, and there's two more teeth. This jaw is going to get longer, and there's two more teeth that are going to be coming in here. So. The fawn is the easiest one to uh, to identify. If it has, if it doesn't have six teeth, it's a fawn. All right. So we've only got four. So that's an easy call. It's a fawn. I want to point out to you a special tooth here that we're going to be looking at, and that's the third premolar. So one, two, three, premolar. This premolar has three cusps. You see one, two, three. That's all one tooth right there, okay? And it's got three portions to it, or three cusps. And so we can look at it from the top. Those are nice and sharp because they're new. All the teeth are nice and sharp in this jaw because they're new. But that is a baby tooth. And that baby tooth is gonna come out later and it's lucky for us, it's gonna be replaced by a, a tooth that has only two cusps, such as the one sitting there on its left right now, that's what's going to replace this eventually, okay? So we'll pay attention to that tooth in the next age. We move down to one and a half. All right, so we start to count. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth one is actually, you can see maybe we could say that's not completely in yet, but it's got all six. So it's not a fawn it's a year and a half. So this was a this was an animal shot um, during the hunt on its uh, second fall. Okay, it lived through its fawn fall, uh, didn't live through that second fall. But as we look at its teeth, remember I said there was a special tooth we were gonna look at, and we've got one, two, three, come in a little closer, and you can see that that third premolar, okay, right here, still has one, two, three cusps. So, all six teeth, third premolar has three cusps. So we know this one is a year and a half. It still has its baby teeth. It may look like an adult, but it's still got baby teeth, okay? So, um, so there's, there's that uh, one and a half year old deer for you. Now, we'll move down to two and a half. And you can already see, if you've been looking at that spot, one, two, three, look at that. That three-cusped premolar has been replaced by a two-cusp premolar, right? And here we go, one, two, three. We've still got six teeth, so, I mean, we know that we're, we've got an adult. And that third premolar has only, it has two cusps, one, two. The little one and a big one, kind of two portions to that tooth. You can also see, as we look at these teeth, now the question is, is it two and a half or is it older? All right, so we can look at some wear here. Well, all these teeth look pretty sharp. Ouch! All right. Um, we can also look, as we look down from the top at them, 
that there is enamel on the outside and then this brown stuff in the middle is denting. And as we, as I'll show you some older teeth, that denting starts to uh, get more obvious to us because this enamel starts to wear off. And if we look all the way at the end of this tooth, set of teeth, on the last molar, there's a cusp sitting right here. And you see how this cusp, it's still sharp. It's got its last little edge to it. Okay, and it's also fairly level. And I always think about, could we set a ball bearing right there on that cusp and would it fall off to one side or the other? Okay, so that's where I like to look at is that last cusp and just the general sharpness and the presence of dentine. Uh, the, or actually it's the, uh, <laughs> the lack of presence of enamel that we're looking at. Okay, so we're gonna call this one two and a half um, we, well, we know it's two and a half, but we're, we could easily say it's two and a half because that's level and we see a lot of enamel, not a whole lot of dentine. And then of course we know it's here because it's got two cusps, but it's not one and a half. All right, next one. Here's the one that we know is three and a half. And I'm going to go to the end immediately here and show you that last cusp. Try to keep it in focus. See how that's worn down compared to the two and a half? That's got a sharp cusp right there on the end. This last cusp right there. And this one's worn down. And if I placed a ball bearing on that tooth, it would just like fall off. Okay. We can also start to see there's more enamel showing in this one compared to not as much in this one. We can also confirm that yes, this is at least two and a half years old because it's got a two cusp third premolar. Say that six times fast. All right, but we would put this in the greater than two and a half. Now, local deer biologists get pretty good at estimating age of deer, or at least they like to think they do. Uh, but there's also been a lot of studies shown that after you get past two and a half years old, there's a lot of variation in how much wear happens. So I'm going to uh, raise this board up and take you all the way down to the last one, just to show you a really, really old deer. And this one they know is at least nine and a half years old. And look at all of the wear. I'm coming down level here. You can actually see that those teeth are sloped off, all of them. All of the top little cusp points have been worn off. We see a whole lot of dentine showing through, the enamel's worn off. This last cusp is worn off so much that if we placed a little ball bearing here, it would definitely fall towards our side. We know that it's old. Uh, we know it's past one and a half because it does have that two cusp third premolar but we can immediately see all of this wear here. So whether it's nine and a half or here's one that was aged six and a half to eight and a half, you can see it also has a tremendous amount of wear. All right, so that's your prep. Now I want you to apply that um, and we'll have a little document that you can look at as well to compare um, as you look at the photos. Um, in our assignment for this, you're gonna get 10 deer jaws and you're gonna to have to age them correctly. Um, and you can go back and make some changes if you need to in your first run through and we'll start to see, that'll give you some practice in getting some feedback on your aging techniques. All right, so we've got our three criteria. We've got a whole lot of ages of deer here and now you should be able to look at all of those deer and figure out fairly quickly whether they're fawn, one and a half, two and a half, or older.